Today I'm here with Miss Cindy Hawkins. Um, she's the founder of Kids First Awareness and I'm going to let her tell us a little bit about that before we tell you why we're here for this special celebration. Kids First Awareness has been in operation for the last 14 years in Alabaster. We're located on Valley Public Housing Complex in Alabaster. We're an after school community outreach program and we have homework program, we do tutoring, we do character ed, we do all type of wonderful events for kids to enrich the kids and help the parents. And that's where our new program has came into play. For the last 17 years I've helped most of the parents at Kids First and now I have found out that the need has grew into jobs. So that's why we have started Bridge of Hope. Bridge of Hope stands for helping our parents through education. It's an adult workforce development outreach program. We will be providing work skills, we will be finding interview resumes, we will also be doing parenting classes and having certified classes at the local colleges. And we're so proud to be able to offer this program in Alabaster. Our goal is to be able to pro provide transportation to those that are in need to be able to get back and forth to class and workshops. Great. So y'all are doing great things for the people in this community. And we couldn't be more proud of you guys and what you're doing. And I know we have another special guest that I want you to introduce to us that's helping you with the new Bridge of Hope. So tell us about Miss Kay right here. This is Miss wonderful Kay. Come on, Miss Kay. We come join us. We cannot do what we do without <laughs> her and Miss Cindy Warner and Mr. Randy Fuller, they are the backbone to what we are doing. We are so pleased and thankful for them to be in our life and to be a part of what we're doing. So this is Miss Kay, and thank her for all that she do for us. Tell us what your role here is. Uh, I'm the school system coordinator for all of the, so that I can facilitate the classes and the, get the things set up for them to be teaching all these people because Education is a lifelong process, and yes. as part of the school system, we need to facilitate that problem. That's wonderful. So what do you think about the Bridge of Hope? Are you excited about it? Oh, Have yes. <laughs> oh, yes. Any society's vision is to get education done, and this is one of the things we're trying to get done. I'm here with Stephanie Bell, and she's with the State Board of Education, and she's going to tell us how they're involved with the Bridge of Hope. We are only one of the members of the team. Cindy has put together a fantastic team. Uh, we want to provide hope in this community, hope to people who have been um, through very difficult times and they want the opportunity to move forward with their lives and to make a difference in the community, which yeah. is exciting. Yeah, it is. It is. Thank you so much for all you do for Cindy and the Bridge of Hope and all you do for the state of Alabama. Well, it's an honor to serve, but it is the people who make the difference are those in the communities, those at the the grassroots level, the, those who have that one-on-one -on -one connection with people, and that's you know, Cindy. Yeah. And I just talked to someone who mentioned that it is very difficult to keep up with her, yes. and it is. <laughs> it is. But I know First Baptist has been a partner in this, and they have donated a, a van. Um, there are so many people, Shelby County Schools, um, the Community Education Program, of course, this facility is a part of, of this team, and Cindy is a fantastic team leader. Okay, I'm here with John Mason. John, tell us um, about your role in the Bridge of Hope. Sure, yeah, we're just here for support. Uh, Ms. Hawkins, years ago, uh, through our office, uh, was able to kind of work with a grant program that we had back during the recovery after the uh, economic crisis, 2010-2009. Uh, so uh, this program here was able to kind of take advantage of something we had available through our office. And she kind of points to it as kind of a kickoff to a lot of the things that she's been able to do since then. So we are just strictly here for support and to encourage and to, to thank her for kind of taking, taking that seed and, and doing lots of wonderful things with it. And you're with the Office of faith -based based initiatives. That's exactly office. right. Okay. That's exactly right. right. Yep. We do uh, AmeriCorps programs, which are volunteer programs across the state, and we're just kind of there to support volunteerism in general, yeah. uh, to encourage it. And of course, uh, this runs off of volunteers like so many nonprofit uh, groups. So it's the community coming together to be able to, to accomplish the things that she has and serve the people that she's been able to serve. I've worked with Cindy for almost a decade now, and there's really nobody that has as much passion uh, for, for what she does than her and we're just proud to be associated uh, with this and everything she does and, and anything we can do to help to get the word out in the community that's what we're here for. I'm here with Lewis Brooks the assistant superintendent of education and uh, we're just so glad that you guys are here we want to know exactly how is the Shelby County Board of Education involved in the Bridge of Hope? Well one of the first let me say we're very proud of this initiative or program that Ms. Hawkins has put forward. Um, as a Board of Education, we're thankful to partner with her in regard to grant writing, 
I think we'll have some, some of our community education people involved as well. So we're just excited to be a part. We've always supported Kids, kids First. We recognize that there are two different systems now with Alabaster and Shelby County. But again, when there's something that is based in the community and can benefit Shelby County as a whole, we're certainly um, interested in partnering and, and love to do it. So we're excited about the opportunity. Yeah, I love that. I love that y'all are coming in to Alabaster and helping out with, with what's going on here. Well, when we, um, you know, when we're involved, uh, even if it's in Alabaster or any other city, um, it benefits our county as a whole, and that's what that's what's important to us. I'm here with these three gentlemen. They are the first graduating class from the Bridge of Hope, the class of carpentry, and they are just want to tell you a little bit about what they did in the class, what they learned, and what it meant to them. Tell us your name. Uh, my name is Tony Harris, and I'm from Alabaster, Alabama, and uh, the class meant a whole lot to me because uh, I've been looking to expand my abilities. Um, the Bridge of Hope been uh, a blessing to me and my family. And what we do in the class is we're learning carpentry as to uh, home repair or home building, uh, building uh, sheds or building, me myself, I'm, I'm taking on dog houses. So it's, it's just really helping me to learn more about carpentry and uh, I want to expand more. I really, really want to become a master carpenter and if it's not, you know, that's that's what I'm looking to be. Well, I believe you can be that. That's wonderful. Oh, yes. That's wonderful. Oh, yes. And tell us your name. Yes, my name is Clifton Edwards. I stay right here in Alabaster. And um, I enjoyed the carpentry class. You know, it gave me a chance to brush up on my school classes I had in high school. And um, I feel like I better help some of the elder people in the neighborhood doing some small things for them around there just in the neighborhood and things. Plus, some things around my own home, too. That's wonderful. You're making a difference. Yeah. Yes. My name is Henry Johnson, and I, I live here in Alabaster as well. And I'm glad to be one of the first to graduate from this class. Maybe it taught me something, and maybe I could teach it to someone else, you know, farther down the line. That's wonderful, and I know you guys are going to continue to do great things in your community. Maybe even teach others what you've learned. And well, my son, he's uh, my son. He's uh, he keeps asking me when I come home from the class, Dad, what y'all do today, Dad? What? And I took pictures of, of some things that, that that we done in class, and now he's interested uh, when he's finished school to maybe become a, a, a carpenter. That's wonderful. Or engineer, That's something wonderful. in that in that thing. That's great. Well, we're excited to see how you continue to use your skills and yes. pass that along to others. Thank you yes. guys for, Thank for you. talking to us today. Thank you. Thank you. So let's talk about Kids First Awareness for a second in December and how the city of Alabaster can help you guys out with that. What's your, what's your biggest needs right now? Our biggest needs is volunteers. We're also in need of Christmas items and donations to help at Kids First Center and for the students that attend Kids First Center. We deal with the at-risk population of Alabaster and we have a lot of needs in our community. We appreciate anything anybody can donate and give to our organization. We are a 501c3, which is a nonprofit organization. Okay, if they wanted to donate something, are there certain times that you're open? Yes, ma'am. Feel free to call 205-706-9467. Great, and these, these ladies are doing amazing things. Come on, Alabaster, let's help them out.